Good morning, everybody. We will uh, begin with that. Today, we will be taking up grammar, which is uh, related to the parts yes. of the question paper. You can see that uh, in the question paper pattern, you can see that in part C, we have a portion called analyze and split the following sentences into two different sentences. So we will learn what are sentences, how we can split sentences into two, and what is the purpose of doing such a splitting. So before we start doing such exercises, we need to understand what a sentence is. So let us uh, look at what a sentence is. You can uh, keep your mics open so that you can interact. Mic ko on jee doke kam. Abada vajya bhagalon ne lege lege mic on jee doke kam so that we will have an interactive session. Since it is grammar, there is no point in my going on talking. So that we will uh, we will have a very interactive session so that everybody is able to participate and. Uh, understand what is being discussed so we are today we are going to discuss the sentence what is a sentence what do you mean by a sentence another sentence collection of words so it is uh, it can be defined as a collection of words but uh do do we have all collections of words? Can all collections of words be called sentences? For example, I write This is a collection of words. So, uh, is this a sentence? No. Why is it not a sentence? Because it does not make any sense. Each words have meaning, but they do not make any sense. Therefore, this cannot be called a sentence. Can this be called a sentence? This one doesn't uh, have. A... See this. Uh, this one doesn't have any sense, but this has some sense. But is it a sentence? This makes some sense, but can we call it a sentence? Can we call this one a sentence? The cat drinks more in than a sentence. No, no. No, because it makes sense, but it doesn't make complete sense. So if I uh, rewrite this sentence, if I'm able to add something to it, now does it become a sentence? Is the sentence over? Yes. It becomes a sentence because it makes complete sense now. The cat rings in the morning for a sense of meaning. But when I uh, write the cat drinks milk, it makes complete sense. So a sentence is defined. As a. This is the definition of it. A group of words which make complete sense. So, sense and diapara, complete sense. Well. So, sense, sentence, and sense. Sense sense sentence. So, it is a group of words which make complete sentence. so there are many types of sentences 
sentences uh, according to their complexity and uh, the number of words involved, the type of words involved, they are categorized into many different types. Let us look at uh, one simple example of a sentence. This is an example of a sentence. The sun rises in the east. So uh, today with the uh, topic that we are discussing, this uh, is actually, we are not, not only discussing sentence, we are also discussing how to analyze a sentence. The sentence is an analysis I am going to ask you something. So this is one part of the sentence. This is the second part of the sentence. This part, the sun. It's the first part of the sentence. Second part of the sentence is rice. Sun object. Yeah. Sun object. Sun object. Sun object. Sun object. Sun Sun East object term. Okay. The, the, the sun and the rendu of him good. The sun subject term. The sun and the other subject. That is rises in the east and the other. That part is called. That is a period. We are looking at the period. Predicate. And this is called. The subject. The subject is the predicate. The sun is the subject, rises in the east and the predicate. So, this is a simple sentence. So, what is a subject? Subject is that which includes the noun and the relative parts. Noun and the Namavadam. Namavadam is the related parts. Rises and the subject. Pinna rises and the other verb rises verb on verb. Adin to Pomola Vaka language the, uh, the noun and the related parts, they together form the subject and the verb and the related parts, they together form the object. If you look at this sun, uh, uh, we can add here. For example, if I rewrite this sentence, Ipo, I have rewritten it. So, it is the beautiful red sun rises in the east. Apa that is subject and or another e beautiful red sun. Prem bagam on a subject. Apa subject and or another e bhoto aka agam nila. Everything that goes along with the noun. Adine ana namal subject and or another. 
so the beautiful red sun rises in the east this is also a simple sentence we can and add some pictures. So the beautiful red sun rises in the east. We can add some pictures. We can add some pictures. Beautiful red sun rises in the east. How will we modify this sentence? How will we modify this sentence? uh, sets in the west. Sets in the west. So we have added some idea to this sentence. The beautiful red sun rises in the east and sets in the west. Using using this uh, and. So we have added the beautiful red sun rises in the east and sets in the west. Let us uh, probably clear everything. Right again. These are actually two different sentences combined together. Hello. Either different sentences. Either render different sentences. Combine the render different sentences. Either render different sentences. Number combine the either sentence. You know the sentence. In the end of the sentences, we will combine the turn here is the sentence. That is, the beautiful red sun rises in the east, the beautiful red sun sets in the west. In the end of the sentence, we combine the turn in the east sentence. Up to any good question. That is, the beautiful red sun rises in the east. In the one, I bag up. Is there a sentence or no? This is a sentence, but my question is, is this a sentence? Is this a sentence? The beautiful red sun rises in the east. Is this a sentence? Is this a sentence? The beautiful red sun rises in the east. Sentence? No. No. Why? Why is it not a sentence? And isn't it a sentence? And and under okay. The reason is that this is part of a larger sentence. It is a long word and a part of a sentence cycle. That is why. So it is not a sentence because it is part of a larger sentence. Apo isne namke sentence samno parayam bittla. ब्यूटिफुट <laughs> 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 
So it has all the qualities of a sentence, but it is not a not considered a sentence because it is part of a larger sentence. So you can uh, note down these things in your notebook. Ella thengi le notebook ille. Ha, sir, and. Ah, so that note is like any examples. So, any particular indicator. Any particular example. So, this is the one more like a. Easy way can I get that? Ah, this is a subject. Like a easy. So the beautiful red sun rises in the east. Subject, Anna. The beautiful red sun subject, Anna. Rises in the east. Predicate. So that is the predicate. Actually, other sentence, Anna. Why is it not a sentence? Because it is part of a larger sentence. So, because some sentences are not really important. So, any other thing will be removed. So, therefore, this part of the sentence. Which has both a subject and a predicate, and still is not a not a sentence. Therefore, it is called a clause. I don't know if you can hear it. Clause. Clause. I don't know if you can hear it. This is the language of the language. That is. Beautiful red sun rises in the east. And what I mean, it is called a clause. Clause. And what I mean, a clause has both a subject and a predicate. C L A U S E. And it has both a subject and a predicate, but it is not still a sentence because it is part of a larger sentence. So, if we are taking on that as a sentence, sir, no, because we are doing a preposition, a little conjunction and be which I mean, combine these two sentences. We are combining these two pieces. That is, we are a clause. I mean. इतवर सब्जेक्ट Is the second clause. So we have two clauses in the sentence. What is a clause? A clause has a subject and a predicate. Real clause no arnyal. What is subject and predicate? Two. Sentence no subject and predicate two. Actually, sentence is individual. Or take it in common. Is it a clause or take it in common? No. It is part of a larger sentence. So, matra ana clause and sentence no dambe dalla vechya sam. Clause and sentence no equal ayatulla stages on. It has everything that a sentence has. The clause has everything that a sentence has, but it is still not considered a sentence because it is part of a larger sentence. So we have two clauses in this sentence. It is combined together by using the word and. And in that one, we can say and in one pair. And in that one, we can say pair. Conjunction. It is called a conjunction. By any of the conjunctions used, we can say sentences in a combined form. By any of the sentences in a combined form, we can say sentences in a Nature mari. We do these are random simple sentences. They are called simple sentences. But this one, which is combined using a conjunction and, that is called a complex sentence. The complex sentence. Now, remember, normally, sadarana complex is the word. Now, what can I say? Complicated title. That is, while the Sangir na mai title. That is, what I say. Ah, that is all over. इंग्लिश ग्राम इंग्लिश 
കോമ്പൗണ്ട് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ആഡ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് നമ്മൾ കോമ്പൗണ്ട്സ് എന്ന് നമ്മുടെ കെമിസ്ട്രിയിൽ പറയുന്നത് കേട്ടല്ലേ മോണിക്കൂൾസ് ആഡ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് തന്നെയാണ് കോമ്പൗണ്ട് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞത് അപ്പൊ അതുപോലെ ദിസ് ഇസ് എ കോമ്പൗണ്ട് സെന്റൻസ് ജോയിൻ ചെയ്യുന്നത് അപ്പൊ കോർഡിനേറ്റിംഗ് ദിസ് ഇസ് എ കോർഡിനേറ്റിംഗ് കഞ്ചക്ഷൻ ആൻഡ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് കോർഡിനേറ്റിംഗ് കഞ്ചക്ഷൻ ആണ് അപ്പൊ എത്ര കോർഡിനേറ്റിംഗ് കഞ്ചക്ഷൻസ് ഉണ്ടെന്ന് ചോദിച്ചാൽ അത് നമുക്ക് ഓർക്കാൻ ഒരു എളുപ്പ വഴിയുണ്ട് ദിസ് ഇസ് ദ വേൾഡ് ദാറ്റ് യു ക്യാൻ റിമെമ്പർ ഫാൻ ബോൾസ് എന്ന് പറയുന്ന വാക്ക് അതില് എഫ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഫോർ ആണ് എ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ആൻഡ് ആണ് എൻ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് നോർ ആണ് ബി എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ബട്ടാണ് ഓ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഓർ ആണ് വൈ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് എറ്റ് ആണ് എസ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് സോ ആണ് സോ ഇഫ് യു റിമെമ്പർ ദിസ് വേർഡ് ദിസ് ടേം ഫാൻ ബോയ്സ് യു വിൽ ബി ഏബിൾ ടു റിമെമ്പർ ഓൾ ദ കോർഡിനേറ്റിംഗ് കൺജംഗ്ഷൻസ് വിച്ച് മേക്ക് എ കോമ്പൗണ്ട് സെൻസ് ഈ വാക്കുകളൊക്കെ ഉപയോഗിച്ച് മാത്രമാണ് നമുക്ക് എന്ത് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുള്ളൂ ഒരു കോമ്പൗണ്ട് സെന്റൻസ് ക്രിയേറ്റ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുള്ളൂ കോമ്പൗണ്ട് സെന്റൻസിന്റെ പ്രത്യേകത എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ജോയിന്റ് ടുഗെദർ ബൈ യൂസിംഗ് കോർഡിനേറ്റിംഗ് കഞ്ചക്ഷൻസ് ഏതൊക്കെയാണ് കോർഡിനേറ്റിംഗ് ദേ ആർ കോൾഡ് കോർഡിനേറ്റിംഗ് കഞ്ചക്ഷൻസ് ദീസ് ദീസ് ഒമിനിയറിന്റെ ടെറർ സെവൻ ദേ ആർ ടുഗെദർ കോൾഡ് കോർഡിനേറ്റിംഗ് കഞ്ചക്ഷൻസ് ഇനി So these are coordinating conjunctions for and nor but or yet so we nor name or name kuda chalapa nor inde kuda chalapa neither varam or inde kuda chalapa either um varam adum endana coordinating conjunctions thaniya so these are the type, uh, different conjunctions conjunctions are words which are used to join together so these words are used to join together simple sentences simple sentences ne join cheyidu endakunu nammal compound sentences aakunu adiyana nammal endu parayunnathu coordinating conjunctions nu parayunnathu the conjunctions are words which are used to join together simple sentences and make compound sentences and the different conjunctions that we use for this purpose are called coordinating conjunctions ഇത്രയാണ് കോർഡിനേറ്റിംഗ് കഞ്ചക്ഷൻസിനെ കുറിച്ച് പറയാനുള്ളത് സോ ഇസ് ഇറ്റ് ക്ലിയർ ക്ലിയർ ആയോ ഇതൊക്കെ എഴുതിയെടുത്തോ ഹാവ് യു ടേക്കൺ ഡൗൺ ഓൾ ദീസ് തിങ്സ് ഓക്കെ എന്തെങ്കിലും ഡൗട്ട് ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ചോദിക്കാം എനി ഡൗട്ട് ഇൻ ദിസ് ഇതുവരെ പറഞ്ഞ കാര്യത്തിൽ എന്തെങ്കിലും സംശയം ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ യു ക്യാൻ ആസ് എനി ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് എനി ഡൗട്ട്സ് ഇതുവരെ പറഞ്ഞാൽ illingly we will move on to the next topic so we we'll want to the next topic so uh, we have learned that we can combine two simple sentences together and make a compound sentence compound sentences if we look at the compound sentence these uh, compound sentences have equal importance so idile the beautiful red sun rises in the east the beautiful red sun sets in the west ഇതിൽ ഏതെങ്കിലും ഒരു ഭാഗത്ത് നിന്ന് കൂടുതൽ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻസ് ഉണ്ടോ ദ ബ്യൂട്ടിഫുൾ റെഡ്സൺ റൈസസ് ഇൻ ദ ഈസ്റ്റിനും ദ ബ്യൂട്ടിഫുൾ റെഡ്സൺ സെറ്റ്സ് ഇൻ ദ വെസ്റ്റ് ഇത് രണ്ടും ഈക്വൽ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻസ് ആണ് സോ ദ കോർഡിനേറ്റിംഗ് കഞ്ചംഗ്ഷൻസ് ആർ കഞ്ചംഗ്ഷൻസ് ആർ കോംപ്ലക്സ് കോമ്പൗണ്ട് സെന്റൻസസ് ആർ സെറ്റ് സെന്റൻസസ് വേർ ഓൾ ദി ക്ലോസസ് ഹാവ് ഈക്വൽ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻസ് ഏതെങ്കിലും ഒരു ക്ലോസിന് കൂടുതൽ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻസ് ഇല്ല എല്ലാ ക്ലോസസിനും ഈക്വൽ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻസ് ഉണ്ട് അങ്ങനെ രണ്ടോ അതിലധികമോ ക്ലോസസ് ഉണ്ടാവും ഇപ്പൊ നമ്മള് ഇവിടെ രണ്ട് ക്ലോസസ് മാത്രമേ ഇട്ടിട്ടുള്ളൂ രണ്ടും അത് ആവണമെന്നല്ല ഇനിയും വേറെ ക്ലോസസ് ആവാം ഇവിടെ വേണമെങ്കിൽ വീണ്ടും ആഡ് ചെയ്ത് ബെസ്റ്റ് കഴിഞ്ഞിട്ട് വീണ്ടും ആഡ് ചെയ്ത് വേറെ എന്തെങ്കിലും പറയാം ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് വി ക്യാൻ ഹാവ് എനി നമ്പർ ഓഫ് 
clauses and all these clauses in the compound sentence will have equal importance actually there are some sentences where the clauses do not have equal importance where one type of sentence has more uh, important one uh, part of the sentence have has more importance than the other part of the sentence angeyulla sentences neyana nammude complex sentence ennu parayunnathu complex sentence ennu parnal complicated aayittulla sentence alla adu kanda valare simple aayittulla sentence neyana adine angane or peru koduthirikkunu nu mathrame ullu grammar illa oru term aanu complex ennu parayunnathu complex ennu parnal valare budhimuttulla nalla arthathilla for example i will give a sentence This is an example of a complex sentence. Complex is not a complicated sentence. It is a complex sentence. If you have a complex sentence, complicated sentence. It means that we have two clauses in the sentence which do not have equal importance. That is the same thing. In compound sentences, there are two clauses with equal importance. In complex sentences, there are two clauses with equal importance. So that is the only difference between a compound and a complex sentence. Pinna conjunction lola vetiya samana. Conjunction le compound sentences le you see na conjunction se thana. Compound sentences le you see na conjunction se thana. Na mula dekhte hai kanda board le kando. Eda na compound sentences le you see na conjunction se. Aru quick learning toolo na mula varne le. Fanboys. Fanboys are the compound sentences you see in the conjunctions. If you use complex sentences, you see in the conjunctions. That is not the complex sentences you see in the conjunctions. That is, fanboys are the complex sentences you see in the complex sentences. Fanboys conjunctions are the name of the conjunctions. Fanboys are the name of the conjunctions. It begins with C. Coordinating. 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 Yes. Coordinating conjunctions are used in compound sentences. अपन आदिने नमले पढ़ी क्या में इंडी ECI तो एक पेरी बोल रही हूँ. It is it is called fanboys. इन्हीं complex sentences ले use इन द conjunctions इन द पेरे. Subordinating conjunctions. Subordinate is what I mean. Subordinate officer. Subordinate is what I mean. I don't want to say that. Subordinate service. Subordinate officer. Subordinate is what I mean. 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 So, uh, subordinating conjunctions are conjunctions which make one clause less important than the other. We compound sentences in the compound sentences. We have equal importance. But in complex sentences, both clauses do not have equal importance. This is compound sentences and complex sentences. One clause is called the main clause. And the other one is called the, the other one is called the subordinate clause. This is, so we have two clauses here. This is one clause, uh, main clause, and one clause, subordinate clause. That is the main clause, the subordinate clause, and the identity of the name of the name. I don't know if we can discuss it. I don't know if we can discuss it. What is the main clause, the subordinate clause? One guess. Can you give a wild guess? 
and which is the main clause and which is the subordinate the milkman came as the subordinate clause while i was sleeping main clause adirichay kuda the milkman came appa adu namukku confusion undu appa vai tirichu avam namukku ipa adim edanar subordinate avanamilla ide sentence thanne namukku ingine eludam ayyo അപ്പൊ ഈ ഇത് ഞാൻ രണ്ട് രീതിയിൽ ഈ സെന്റൻസ് എഴുതിയിട്ടുണ്ട് അപ്പൊ ഇതിലും ദാ വൈ ലൈ വാസ് സ്ലീപ്പിംഗ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ് ഉണ്ട് ദ മിൽക്ക് മാൻ കെ അതായത് തന്നെ നിന്നാൽ മീ ഫുൾ കംപ്ലീറ്റ് മീനിങ് വരുന്നതാണ് മെയിൻ ക്ലോസ് അപ്പൊ അതായത് ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ വൈ ലൈ വാസ് സ്ലീപ്പിംഗ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ നമ്മളപ്പം ആ വൈ ലൈ വാസ് സ്ലീപ്പിംഗ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ് തിരിച്ച് ചോദിക്കും അല്ലെ അതാണ് subordinate clause adayathu the milkman came undengil mathramana adine nalanulkullu so therefore that is the subordinate clause the milkman came is the main clause id identify cheyana cheyana into very easy method is to find out where is the conjunction look at the conjunction where the conjunction is there is the subordinate clause subordinating conjunction edu vecha edilaano theru thodangunnathu adana subordinate clause അപ്പൊ ഇതിൽ വൈ ലൈ വാസ് സ്ലീപ്പിംഗ് ആണ് സബോർഡിനേറ്റ് ക്ലോസ് ഇതിലും അതെ സെന്റൻസ് എങ്ങനെ മാറ്റി എഴുതിയാലും ദ സബോർഡിനേറ്റ് ക്ലോസ് ഇസ് ദ സെയിം വൈ ലൈ വാസ് സ്ലീപ്പിംഗ് തന്നെയാണ് ഈ രണ്ട് സെന്റൻസസിനും ബോത്ത് ദീസ് സെന്റൻസസ് ദ സബോർഡിനേറ്റിംഗ് ക്ലോസ് ഇസ് സബോർഡിനേറ്റ് ക്ലോസ് ഇസ് വൈ ലൈ വാസ് സ്ലീപ്പിംഗ് ആൻഡ് ദീസ് കൺജംഗ്ഷൻസ് വിച്ച് മേക്ക് എ ക്ലോസ് എ സബോർഡിനേറ്റ് ക്ലോസ് ദ ആർ കോൾഡ് സബോർഡിനേറ്റിംഗ് കൺജംഗ്ഷൻസ് ആൻഡ് ദ ഹോൾ സെന്റൻസ് മിൽക്ക് മാൻ കെയിം വൈ ലൈ വാസ് സ്ലീപ്പിംഗ് ആ മൊത്തം സെന്റൻസിനെ വിളിക്കുന്ന പേരാണ് കോംപ്ലക്സ് സെന്റൻസ് സോ കോംപ്ലക്സ് സെന്റൻസസ് ആർ നോട്ട് കോംപ്ലക്സ് ആൻഡ് കോംപ്ലിക്കേറ്റഡ് ദ ആർ ജസ്റ്റ് സെന്റൻസസ് വിച്ച് യൂസ് സബോർഡിനേറ്റിംഗ് കൺജംഗ്ഷൻസ് ആൻഡ് ദീസ് സബോർഡിനേറ്റിംഗ് കൺജംഗ്ഷൻസ് വിത്ത് ദ പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് ദ ക്ലോസ് പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് ദ സെന്റൻസ് ദ ക്ലോസ് വിച്ച് ഹാസ് ദി സബോർഡിനേറ്റിംഗ് കൺജംഗ്ഷൻസ് ദ ആർ ദ ആർ കോൾ ദ സബോർഡിനേറ്റ് ക്ലോസ് ആൻഡ് ദിസ് ഇസ് കോൾഡ് ദ മെയിൻ ക്ലോസ് ഒരു മെയിൻ ക്ലോസ് ഉണ്ട് ഒരു സബോർഡിനേറ്റ് ക്ലോസ് ഉണ്ട് so what is a complex sentence complex sentences are sentences which have one main clause and two or more subordinate clauses are not a complex sentence and the, the kind of conjunctions that are used in complex sentences are called subordinating conjunctions and the property of subordinating conjunctions is that they can make one clause superior and the clause that is begun by a subordinating conjunction is the subordinate clause subordinating conjunction which thodangana clause ana subordinate clause so this is the uh, idea of a complex sentence so in a we have three different kinds of sentences simple sentences compound sentences and complex sentences we should not be misled by the terms simple sentences may not be very simple they are just called simple sentences because they have just one uh, clause that is one subject and one predicate adond mathramana adane simple sentences ennu parayana simple sentences valare complex complicated complicated avam complex aa pakshe അത് അതിന് സിമ്പിൾ സെന്റൻസ് പേരേ ഉള്ളൂ അതുപോലെ കോംപ്ലക്സ് സെന്റൻസസ് വളരെ കോംപ്ലിക്കേറ്റഡ് ആവണമെന്നില്ല ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ജസ്റ്റ് എ ടേം ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ഗിവൺ ടു ദീസ് സെന്റൻസസ് സിമ്പിൾ സെന്റൻസസ് ഡു നോട്ട് ഹാവ് മോർ ദാൻ വൺ സബ്ജക്ട് ആൻഡ് പ്രെഡിക്കേറ്റ് വെറാസ് 
compound and complex sentences will have more than one subject and predicate. That is, there are more than one clause in both complex and compound sentences. Compound sentences have uh, both the clauses are e of equal importance. The main clause in one or clause, they are equally important clauses. But in a compound sentences, le, clauses never in the way coordinate clauses. And the conjunction that is used in uh, compound sentences are called coordinating conjunctions. Are used in are used in coordinating conjunctions are used in coordinating conjunctions here learning you see another compound sentences. Compound sentences. Can you hear me? Is my... Okay. Uh, maybe there is some problem with the internet. Uh, with, uh, either with me or the problem with the internet. This is something which we have to bear with. Disconnect the wind and join the meeting. Meeting in the link, the wind and click on the wind and get up. Then the permission of the shell and another enable the trend. I link a click here, the link direct to a meeting in the guitar. I will an anethan and open the meeting in the career. Then enable join before host and all over. Even if I have not come into the class, you can enter the class and you can also. Uh, do some exercise on what we have been discussing. So uh, there are there will be some problems when you have a low bandwidth, but you just uh, disconnect and reconnect, then it will be easy for to do this. Uh, okay, Arya again, Arya, and uh, what are the others? The uh, Please disconnect and rejoin. Okay, so if you have such problems, uh, please disconnect and rejoin, then it will be okay. So we come back to the topic. Coordinating conjunctions are used in compound sentences and subordinating conjunctions are used in complex sentences. Simple sentences, this is the conjunction you see in other simple sentences. Simple sentences like conjunction and dog. Coordinate. Compound sentences. Subordinating conjunctions you see another. Subordinating conjunctions you see another complex sentence. Complex sentence. Simple sentences like conjunction silla. Conjunctions you see in Dow Shilla. And we're at a cross. Coordinating conjunctions and subordinating conjunctions and you see another uh, complex selling compound sentences and I mean clauses in a join jam and simple sentence or at a clause. Other one day, it turns a conjunction so you see Nella conjunctions you see, but she's subordinating a little coordinating conjunctions are one of Nella. For example, your sentence over him, other other conjunction under which other simple sentence. Bread and butter is a good combination. It is a simple sentence. And 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 it is a conjunction which is used to join these two words. Either than conjunctions in coordinating conjunction and angle uh, subordinating conjunction will give another clause of sena join G and you see another in a matramana. I'm gonna will give another. Allah the where they walk a join G and just one of word and is joined together to another word that is not a, co a coordinating or subordinating conjunction it is an ordinary conjunction which is used in a sentence so this is just a simple sentence so conjunctions are 
categorized into many types. Subordinating conjunctions are those conjunctions which are used in complex sentences and coordinating conjunctions are used in compound sentences. A normal conjunction can be used even in a simple sentence. Okay, so a simple sentence does not have, does not need any coordinating or subordinating conjunctions. Simple sentences, it has just one clause, that is, it has just got one subject and one predicate, however long the sentence is. Simple sentence, what are the long I do? Sentence You can write a very long, simple sentence. I'll give an example of a very long, simple sentence. Simple sentence. complicated now. So a simple sentence can appear to be very complicated, but it is just one simple sentence. Idli, idli, either on a subject, either on a predicate, no rem. Can you tell me which is the subject and which is the predicate? Yes. Or a subject with predicate to look at a simple sentence. Simple sentence has just one clause. My good friend Preeta. My good friend Preeta is subject. Predicate is the predicate. Like on the Lala verb two and over in the infinity one. I like a mother, either is the pedano and the Lana verb. I like a mother, a lamb predicator. That is the everything that begins with the the verb. Verb mother in motor of the lamb and the predicator. As well, noun mother and motor of the lamb on the opposite direction, whatever you have with the noun. They are all the subject. My good friend Rita. Even if you don't mind, qualify. My good friend Rita. I'm gonna. You can expand the subject as much as you need, but still, it will all be considered as the subject. All the words that are added to the noun is considered as the subject. So they together become the subject, and the noun along with other words. And the verb along with other words is called the subject. So I think it is uh, clear. So we have three different types of sentences. That is simple sentences, complex sentences, compound sentences, and complex sentences. Simple sentences we don't require any uh, subordinating or coordinating conjunction because there is just one clause and what is a clause a clause has uh, a subject and a predicate it has everything so subject and a predicate and then the quality and the sentence and the quality on a subject or predicate on the one or a clause and a subject and predicate to the other sentence Allah because it is part of a larger sentence or various sentence in a bag of my own time I'm the sentence and the only camera I don't know that we can appear on a clause so clauses have all the qualities of a sentence but they are not yet a sentence because they are part of a larger sentence. These are the things that we discussed. It's just a recap of what we discussed today. So clauses are uh, uh, groups of words which have all the qualities of a sentence, but they are not considered a sentence because it's part of a larger sentence. They have a subject as a predicate. When we have two clauses joined together, we have either a compound sentence or a complex sentence, depending on the conjunction we used. If we are using a coordinating conjunction, then that type of sentences are called compound sentences. And if we are using subordinating conjunctions, that type of sentences are called complex sentences. And uh, there are only seven types of coordinating conjunctions which can be easily learned by learning the term. Which is the term? To remember? Fanboys. Fanboys. Fanboys remember that compound sentences are conjunctions. 
ചില വാക്കുകൾ ശ്രദ്ധിക്കണം കേട്ടോ അപ്പൊ ഹാൻഡ് ബോയ്സില് ബി എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ഏതാണ് ബട്ടാണ് അതോ എന്തായാലും ഓർമ്മ വേണം കാരണം വേറൊരു ബി കഞ്ചങ്ഷൻ ഉണ്ട് അത് സബോർഡിനേറ്റിംഗ് കഞ്ചങ്ഷൻ ആണ് വേറൊരു കഞ്ചങ്ഷൻ പറയൂ ബി വെച്ചിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു കോർഡിനേറ്റിംഗ് കഞ്ചങ്ഷനേ ഉള്ളൂ അത് ബട്ടാണ് ബി വെച്ചിട്ടുള്ള സബോർഡിനേറ്റിംഗ് കഞ്ചങ്ഷൻ എന്താണ് ബിക്കോസ് ആണ് അപ്പൊ ബിക്കോസ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് കോർഡിനേറ്റിംഗ് കഞ്ചങ്ഷൻ അല്ല സബോർഡിനേറ്റിംഗ് കഞ്ചങ്ഷൻ ആണ് അപ്പൊ ബി വെച്ചിട്ടുള്ള കോർഡിനേറ്റിംഗ് കഞ്ചങ്ഷന് ബട്ടാണ് വി ഷുഡ് നോട്ട് കൺഫ്യൂസ് സോ ഫാൻ ബോയ്സ് അല്ലാത്തത് ഈ പറഞ്ഞ ഫാൻ ബോയ്സ് അല്ലാത്തത് എല്ലാം എന്താണ് സബോർഡിനേറ്റിംഗ് കഞ്ചങ്ഷൻസ് ആണ് സോ വെൻ വി യൂസ് കോർഡിനേറ്റിംഗ് കഞ്ചങ്ഷൻസ് ദ ആർ കോൾ കോർഡിനേറ്റ് കോമ്പൗണ്ട് സെന്റൻസസ് ദ ക്ലോസസ് ആർ കോൾ കോർഡിനേറ്റ് ക്ലോസസ് ആൻഡ് ദ സെന്റൻസസ് ആർ കോൾ കോർഡിനേറ്റ് ഐ മീൻ കോമ്പൗണ്ട് സെന്റൻസസ് വെൻ വി യൂസ് സബോർഡിനേറ്റിംഗ് കഞ്ചങ്ഷൻസ് ദർ വിൽ ബി എ മെയിൻ ക്ലോസ് ആൻഡ് ദ പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് ദ സെന്റൻസ് വിച്ച് ബിഗിൻസ് വിത്ത് ദ സബോർഡിനേറ്റ് ക്ലോസ് I mean, the subordinating conjunction is called the subordinating conjunction. Subordinating conjunction is called the subordinating conjunction. That clause is the subordinating clause. That clause is the subordinating clause. The main clause can stand alone and uh, give complete sense. The subordinate clause cannot stand alone and give complete sense. This is the complex sentences. The clauses do not have equal importance in a complex sentence. So these are the things uh, which we discussed today. and uh, these uh, anything else compound complex sentences and the examples the clauses the conjunctions apo edakkana complex sentences use cheyana conjunctions while when where with which uh, how angane oru vaad complex sentences complex sentences use cheyana clauses ullu undu subordinating clauses coordinating conjunctions la age ezhu ezhu sub conjunctions ullu akshe complex sentences la use cheyana subordinating conjunctions oru vaadu undu there are many of them and uh, uh, it is not possible to learn all of them angane oru cheriya vaakku undaki namukku padikkan pattilla adondana fan boys pole oru term subordinating conjunctions ne illathu so uh, we will get some compound or complex sentences and that is what we will have to uh, answer when we get uh, when the when we see the see this stuff for the exam where is the textbook one second let me pull the text see here we have some sentences we can split these sentences because they are sentences which have two parts they have two uh, clauses and we can split them into two parts how to do this we will do all these exercises in the next class so exercises engena split cheya nalla ella exercises we will do in the next class so this uh, we will get such five questions for the exam each question will have one mark and we will uh, discuss what are those uh, kinds of sentences we will get in the next class we we'll do a lot of exercises in the next class please uh, type something in the chat box and uh, we'll take it up in the next class okay everybody can type something so that becomes our reference so uh, any questions so far is there any other any questions in english please just type something everybody can type something to record your presence in the class I'm sorry if somebody could not listen because of any network problem in any case i am going to upload uh, this lesson uh, whatever classes we are taking all the classes are getting uploaded on the uh, youtube in the uh, channel i am sending you the link every evening most mostly you can just go to that link and linda what do i say when those people who are not able to uh login because of network issue they can later watch the uh, class you can make yourself clear on all the topics okay so thank you everyone
Okay, nice to know that it was useful to you. So goodbye, have a nice day. Bye.